Hope you are. Today, well, we're out here at the job, and I'm taking a look at Boss Man's tractor. So yeah, but here she is. This is Boss Man's tractor right here. Oh yeah, don't mind the noise in the background. That's the guys cutting the grass. But yeah, this is a 1066 farm. It doesn't have it on the other side. I think it's been scraped off, but yeah, it's a pretty cool tractor. But I'm going to just go ahead and hop up on here. This is actually the tractor I used to drive once I was doing seeding. And yes, it is a turbo. All original. Got your hydraulics and stuff, but yeah. But that's pretty much it for this tractor. Oh yeah, and here's another side of it right here. T. Yeah, this side, like I said, doesn't have the side on it. But yeah, it's a pretty big tractor. Not too big, but it's all right. I like this thing, though. But tell me what you guys think about it. It's it's a pretty cool piece of machinery. Even though I'm a big fan of John Deere, I bleed green. But hey, I like international tea. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this tractor. Moving on with the next one, the next one, the Ford. Okay, and here it is, the Ford ninety-seven thousand. So yeah, same thing for this tractor. This pretty old as well, and kind of rusty. But hey, I like one like that, all original. And this one actually has a cedar that I use. It doesn't have the things on it, the seed things, because they're yeah, they're they're missing. Cause uh, it wouldn't work. But we have another one. It it kind of has problems too. It's another John Deere. This is a John Deere as well. But yeah, it's got like a KMC logo on it, which is weird. I'm not sure John Deere had a KMC thing. I don't know. But yeah, it's got the great big yo fill tank tanks on them, sprayer tanks. You know, for fertilizer and stuff. But help the crop that keep growing and stuff like that but yeah that's pretty much it but let's move on with the cap inside of the ford cap so yeah so here we go gonna climb up in this thing kind of hard to get the door open but yeah pretty big up in here too original cap too not much to it. Pretty simple. Got your rear. Yep. But that's pretty much it. Here is the other cedar too. I think this is the one that um Kevin from a uh, junk junkyard digs has actually. I believe this one is the 1960s. Yeah, but this one, it's also, it's got to have like some work done to it too, as well. I don't know. Oh yeah, some of them, they don't have the original pen on. The uh, John Deere logo on. But this one does have it right here, which is pretty cool. John Deere. Oh, no, or this might be a 70s or a 60s. I'm not sure, but correct me if I'm wrong. But that's pretty much it for this uh, cedar right here. Oh, yeah, and there's some seed bags, too. So, yeah, I believe these are for the horses or probably quail. I don't know. Or actually deer feed, actually. I don't know. But, yeah. And I'll show you some of the seeds as well. These we have right here are peanuts. I think this, yeah, this is peanuts right here. And this is corn, probably, or that might be corn. Wait. Wait. I don't know what it is. I don't really know. But yeah, I think it might be peanuts or corn. But I remember it being in a white bar, but we had to tear up like the stuff off of it. But yeah, 
that's all for that. This one can show you guys that. All right, getting to the field. Ooh, buddy. That shit. Yeah, we got to cut it. That should have got to cut down. All right, here it goes. Ooh. We're in the field. Boss hey, man's out there working. Oh yeah, so, and this is another thing that we have too, an international cub. It's a pretty neat little tractor. We don't use it that much around the farm. I think it's a show tractor, that's what it is. It was made in 1975. But that's pretty much it. This is the Agriculture Guy, and I will see you guys later. Bye.